In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create users inside your WordPress site, what the different user roles mean, how to send them their password and login information, and all that good stuff. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. And this video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. If you find this video helpful, you're going to find that playlist super helpful. There's a link to that in the description down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To create users in WordPress, you have to log into your WordPress dashboard and find the section on the left side menu called Users and click on it. You'll see an Add New button at the top right here. You'll see an Add New button on the left menu, also on the Flyout menu we saw a moment ago. And if you click on it, you can create a new user. And it's really straightforward. This is all you need to enter right here. And only a few of these fields are required. All you really need to enter is the username, email address, and password and a user role. Everything else is optional. Let's add a username Jane and an email address of jane at jane.com. We can use this password right here or we can enter a different one. If we enter a weaker password, like one, two, three, four, it says it's very weak. We have to check this box to confirm use of a weak password. I don't recommend you use a weak password because you don't want your user accounts to be hacked. And this one will be really easy to hack, one, two, three, four. So we're going to click on Generate Password, and we have a nice strong password here. I'd recommend you use that one. Not, not this one specifically, but whatever is generated in this field. And then if we check this box, then this user will be sent an email about their account, including their username and their password. So you want to check this box if it's going to someone on your team. If you wanted to be even more secure, you could Slack your team member their login username and then text them their password for example, and, and have a separate method of delivering both components. So if a hacker happens to get one, they're not going to get the other, hopefully, anyway. And the user role will determine the capabilities the user has on your site. On the left-hand side, there's a lot of options because this account I'm logged into is the administrator. I have maximum options on the WordPress site. If you set someone up as a subscriber, they will have very few things to do over here. In fact, I think they can only change the profile their own profile and go out to the main WordPress site. There'll be almost nothing in the menu over here. And as you level up from subscriber to contributor, to author, to editor, to administrator, each level gets more privileges. And there's a WordPress help page. If you Google it, WordPress user roles, you'll see what each user role can do. And you can even customize what user roles can do and create your own custom user roles if you want. I have a tutorial to help you do that in the card up above and the description down below if you want to see how that works. The customer role and shop manager role exist because I have WooCommerce installed. If you have WooCommerce installed, you'll see those as well. So make sure you pick the role that's appropriate for this user and then click on add new user. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And here is the new user right there. We can click on edit and now we have more options. We can change the default styling of WordPress for this user. We can disable the visual editor for when they create posts or pages. We can enable keyboard shortcuts. We can show the toolbar when viewing the site, which is the bar up at the top here. We have the username that we entered. This cannot be changed, at least not through the dashboard. We can change the user role at any time. We can add their first name, last name at any time. We have a nickname that's required. We have a display name publicly as, and this is made from a combination of first name, last name, nickname. So if you have first name, last name blank and just the nickname, you only have the nickname option. But let's say her name is Jane Franks. Now all of a sudden we have a lot more options for the publicly displayed name. And this is the name that would go on to a post. If this person is an author on your team, whatever you choose here, would appear on the written by for that post. So choose something appropriate. You can even have just her part of the content team and just choose content team. And then you can have that for every author, but you can see which author on, in the back end is creating the most posts for you. For example, would they all be shown under content team on the front end? There's the email field, which you can change if you need to. Website field, you can add a bio and a profile picture. You can change the password. You can add billing information. This is added through WooCommerce. And then update user whenever you're done. 
If you made any changes, make sure you click that. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.